Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I am doing what I always do on this channel, which is diving into a project that I am completely and utterly unqualified to do. But I'm going to do it anyway. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know that this whole channel is about grabbing the bull by the horns and just going for it. Most of the stuff that I do in my videos I've never done before, but if you end up watching the videos, chances are I was successful. And I'm here to encourage you to grab the bull by the horns, dive into projects that you feel completely uncomfortable doing because we live in a world with YouTube and Google and there really isn't anything that we can't accomplish. So today, it's the video editing computer. First time ever. I'm going with AMD. This is an AMD Ryzen, if that's how you pronounce it. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 24 core. It's got 48 threads right here. That's the processor that I'm gonna be going to. Uh, all right, and to keep that chip cool, this is Thermaltake Water 3.0360. All right, let's get started. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully a massive, massive improvement to uh, uh, the channel and my ability to kick out videos. Here we go. So this is my existing box, and this is the top, and this is where that three fan CPU cooler is gonna go, but it won't fit because of my uh, hot swap up here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna get one of the hot swap bays, and uh, I'll just have to relocate the concept of the hot swap from here down into this empty bay, or maybe move these around and figure out what I'm gonna do. But that is how I'm going to get the fan in, and then I don't have to buy a new case. All right, so my thought is with that out of the way, I've just bought myself another two or three inches. And I'll be able to fit the fans in. All right, so this bar right here is in my way. I can't fit the three fan CPU cooler in because of this right here. So I tried bending it out of the way and that's not gonna work. So next up is cutting it. Okay, so with a little bit more persuasion and another three quarters of an inch, it is now cut far enough to where this beast will fit in there and I can line up a whole bunch of the screw holes. So uh, that was definitely better than spending, I don't know, $100, $200 on a new one. But more importantly, having to wait two or three days for it to get here. I just don't have time to wait. I'm going to get back to work. All right, so I temporarily have the fans stood up against the radiator. These fans are gonna be on the inside of the radiator, inside the computer. And it is time to discuss the age old question, to push or to pull? A topic that will be argued through the centuries. As contentious as Coke versus Pepsi, Stones versus Beatles, Ford versus Chevy, Democrats versus Republicans, AMD versus Intel, Star Wars versus Star Trek, Earnhardt versus Gordon. These are topics that will have fans of both sides. And as much as they yell and scream at each other, it will never be settled. But coming back to the fans, here's my thought. So here's where I stand on the matter. I am going with this. 
which means that I am going to be pulling air through the radiator into the box, which means I'm going to be pulling cooler air from outside and taking it across the radiator going inside. So why would I do, why would I do it that way? Well, if you think about a car, every electronic fan on a car is pulling air through the radiator, pulling that nice cool air from the other side through to cool the liquid in the radiator. It just doesn't make any, it doesn't make any sense to me to do it the other way. If you set it up this way, you're actually taking hot air from inside the box and you're pushing hot air across the radiator. Oh, not really sure why you'd do that. So here's an important consideration. I've got plenty of other fans for this box. So while I'm using the three fans from my CPU cooler to draw cool air in, I'm going to offset that by allowing these fans to expel air out. My goal is to have slightly positive ventilation inside the box. You, know, you don't want all of your fans blowing outward because then you have negative pressure and you don't want all of your fans blowing inward because you'll have so much positive pressure they they'll just be working against each other. So from where I stand, I'm going to be pulling cool air, cool air in across the radiator and using some of those other fans to expel some of the heat from the box out. So there you go. There's some fodder for you to leave nasty comments. And if you really need to know where I stand on things, definitely Coke over Pepsi, definitely Stones over Beatles, most, most definitely Chevy over Ford. Used to be Intel, but now I'm AMD. And definitely Earnhardt over Gordon. So if you disagree with me, you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. Let the comments roll. Let's move on. Let's get the rest of these guys turned around, get them locked down, and move on. All right, so uh, without further ado, it's time to start putting stuff where it belongs and locking everything down. Let's do it. All right, so the motherboard is in and it's all screwed down. And the reason why I did it first is because if you see these screws right here, there's no way I would have gotten to them had I put the uh, CPU fan in first. So now... I'm going to hit the CPU fans. All right, with the screws in. Here's how it looks from here. All right, so the next step is getting this guy locked down on to the CPU. And if you look inside the package uh, that came with the thermal take, you'll see all of these guys. And let's see here, three of these are like, this is supposed to go behind the motherboard, which in our case, we don't have to do that. And then these guys are used to lock, help lock it down. Well, with this thread ripper, we're not using this. And we're not using any of these. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh no, I don't have the right bracket. Well, good thing that the thread ripper itself comes with a bracket. And this bracket already has thumb screws and threaded, and it's threaded here. And if you look at the board itself, all right, if you look right here, it already has threaded places for for this guy. So nothing has to go underneath the board. Okay. So now you can't put this down and then, and then do this part. Um, the way this works is that this is my left hand. This hand right here is where the motherboard's going to be. And this is going to come down on it and it's going to go like this. And then essentially you have to kind of thread it through and then I'll try to turn it up like this. And then you want the teeth, you want the teeth to, you want to turn it where you can see that if the teeth are staggered, this will come up and through. So what you want to do is go through it and then stagger them so that this will hold on like this. Now, now something perplexing that I've seen in a lot of videos is guys just taking this and plopping it down or putting this, putting this base piece and threading it down and then sticking this down and then just turning it. Well, I've seen several videos that do it that way and that is just not right. So let's do it the right way. 
So don't take my word for it. Right here in the directions, if you look at three, that's the step that people do. And for whatever reason, they're skipping step four, which is the little ring, which kind of locks everything into place. So not exactly sure why people are skipping it, but it's right here in the directions. So I'm doing it. All right. So with this, the way I like it, I'm going to bring this guy in. He's got four tabs. You can see them right there sticking out. This guy goes on like this. And this top ring, this ring right here, snaps into the bottom ring and kind of locks everything into place. Like so. Now this thing doesn't move. This one doesn't move. It's kind of locked into place. <sighs> All right. So that's that. So now this guy is going to get put down on to here. All right, so with this in place, you may have noticed that I've cleaned off the, uh, the thermal paste that came with this, uh, and we're going to substitute that with some Arctic MX4. All right, that's that. All right, so as far as wiring these fans up, uh, the thermal take unit comes with this proprietary little plug-in box thing. The, uh, the three fans go on the one side, and then you've got uh, two more connections on the other side. They are notably different. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the one with four holes. They make it so you can't mess up. All right, so there's the one with the four holes. And then this guy, you're going to find a place on the motherboard for a CPU fan. I just gotta find the corresponding places on the motherboard to get them plugged in, and then uh, the fans will be done. Well, these fans at least, not the rest of my fans. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, many more videos to come, including the rest of this build and just so much more. So uh, thanks for everything, appreciate your time. See ya.